Hello and welcome to 0 to 10's Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 series. My name is Patrick Lewis and I will be guiding you through our session today. Today's session will cover custom activities and we will cover the topic in three sections. First, a design concept discussion where we will cover what we are going to build. Second, a demonstration to build out the custom activity. And finally, we'll spend a few minutes looking at what this new activity type gives us, all followed by our usual wrap up. So let's get started. Our plan today is to build a custom activity type called account review. The purpose will be to provide our salespeople with a simple and effective means of tracking their account management activities. So to do that, our steps will be to build a custom activity entity called account review. We'll remove some fields from the form to clean it up a bit. We'll add a tab to capture the results gathered during a review. And then we'll add a few fields to measure our progress. And then as always, we'll save and publish. Let's jump in. To build out the custom entity, you'll want to go to Settings, Customizations, Customize the System, just like you normally would. We'll go to Components Entities, and then we'll click on New Entity to build out our custom activity. In Display Name, we'll put uh, Account Review, and for Plural Name, we'll put account reviews. Now here comes the big part. We want to make sure that we click on define as an activity entity. What that does is it goes through in the background and it creates all the forms and views uh, and even many of the fields that are already included in an activity. So as we jump in, you can see that there are many things that we don't need. So we'll take out start date, we'll take out due date, I'm going to leave regarding and subject, I think I'm going to make just a little bit bigger so that it fills up more of the space and maybe evens out the form just a bit. There we go. So we'll move owner down. And let's add a tab so we can capture some information in one place uh, about the results. So we'll double click on tab, we'll pull up the properties, and in the label, we'll change the label. or account status, let's use account status. So that way we can put all the things that apply to what happened in one place. So then we'll move over and let's create some new fields instead of using anything that's already there. So first let's add the date fields. We'll add the review date. So then we can capture uh, what the next schedule review will be after we, uh, after we go on this appointment. We'll make that a date field. Let's add one more date field. How about uh, next review? So when is the next review going to happen? Also a date field. Notice we're hitting save and new uh, every time so that we can quickly go through and add uh, field after field rather than getting all the way out every time. So now let's add some option fields uh, and option set. So we'll go with relationship status. We'll make it an option set. Uh, we'll add some items. Let's call it um, red, yellow, and green. Just something so that we can get an indication of um, where we sit with this particular account. So remember as we go through this process that it's not the field names that matter, it's the concepts behind it. So if you use a certain vernacular uh, that makes more sense, let's do that. Let's add, uh, let's add a couple more fields. Let's go with the uh, satisfaction level so we can track maybe in buckets uh, how satisfied this customer was or seems to be uh, after the appointment. One of the good things about using buckets instead of uh, individual numbers is that it makes it easy to do things like pipeline reports and and aggregate uh, groups of people together rather than doing them individually. Because uh, we could go one to ten and do each one individually, but that would just be a hassle for the salespeople and for uh, for everyone involved. So, let's see four to six, we'll still call that dissatisfied. If any of you have used MPI uh, or NPS scores, then uh, you may have a similar system that you use for tracking uh, how satisfied your customers are. 
so that you can look at it. Just by capturing the data, though, you have the ability to, uh, to have people know, right? It's something that you can measure. So we're basically just setting up a few KPIs here around uh, managing accounts. There we go. Let's save and close it. And then hopefully by doing that, you know, we'll get our eye on that ball and, and uh, be able to, to increase our customer satisfaction. I'm going to add one more field here. We're going to call it account level. So the level would be for us, um, I'm going to make it an option set, I think. And we'll, what we'll do is, is we'll use that to categorize what level we think about them at. Maybe it's financial, maybe it's number of times they've purchased from us. So we'll use the standard platinum, gold, uh, silver lingo uh, that many of you may be used to. So some of, these, some of these items that we've added can be used in the same way. So maybe you use some of them, maybe you don't. But remember, once again, it's the, it's the concept, and you don't want to fall in the, in the copper category. So we're going to save and close that. I think that's all we're going to do for fields, just so that we can, so we have enough to, to, to track some important things around um, a review. So let's move them out onto the, onto the form. So we'll put the review date up in the general area so that it goes with all the things about the upcoming appointment, and then we'll add relationship status, drag and drop. We'll add um, customer satisfaction, right, in a session. The way I picture it is you go to the appointment, right, as you leave, you just put, where are we? Maybe you fill in a description. I don't think that's going to be enough room for a description, so let's jump up, uh, change the formatting, we'll make it two columns and maybe three rows. And let's change the display so that it's also more appropriate, and we'll call it Review Notes. And then we'll click on OK. So we've got a nice little section coming around, but what we want to do now is let's look at what level they are. Perhaps that can change uh, by the appointment. And then let's also schedule that next review. So now in one place, I could go through, I could, I could schedule, because it's an activity, I could schedule this activity uh, and manage it based on the dates per account. Let's publish it. And then easily use it to track statistics and all kinds of other things about um, the way that we are managing our accounts and our customer satisfaction. And it's pretty easy, simple to use, and has a high probability of getting adopted. So just by making an activity, I can go to My Activities, jump into Account Review. You can see it's already been created, and look at all account reviews. So that may not seem like much, but in just that short amount of customization, we've created some critical data points that allow us to uh, launch workflow to create the next account review if we want. We can create follow-up letters and emails based on completing an account review. Uh, we can manage our past due reviews and changes in customer satisfaction. And we can create reports and views and charts and all kinds of things. So let's just look really quickly at what we get. Number one, we get the ability to go in Look at companies, right, that we want to run reviews on, open up the company, drop into the normal activities section because it's an activity. If I look at all my activities, I have no activities currently. I can click inside, move up to add new activity, click on my new account review activity, put in a subject. We'll make the subjects about... Uh, the time frame, quarterly account review, so we know. And then maybe we add just the review date initially. So we've set up this review, the review's in the system, we turn around, we save it. When the time comes or when it becomes appropriate, we're going to go through and actually perform that review, open up this record, show what our new relationship status is, show what our new satisfaction level is, hopefully it's good. Um, Perhaps we're going to put in some notes. You know, remember, this isn't all about reporting, right? We're also going to be able to use this to know what happened last time. Technically, I could create a, uh, a workflow based off of what I'm typing right now that would go directly to someone else uh, to manage the next steps in the process. So there's a lot that you can do 
with just setting up the the um, setting up the right structure. So once we put in some notes, we can add our account level. So now we can look at things in that way, and we can set up that next review. Right. So you imagine in your head. Right, save and close. I have a workflow that runs in the background. It picks up that next review date, creates the next account review with that as the due date, and everything continues in a process and never slips through the cracks. Now, when I look at my activities, I can see that that activity occurred. If I look at closed activities, I can see that it's there at the top of my list of closed activities. So it never goes anywhere. Uh, it always has all of my notes, and I know that it's always going to happen. So I can close that form and then go back in and look in the activities area to see what kind of changes have been made there. So if I look at my open account reviews, you'll notice that I have several. That's because during the break we added some. But I get that charting ability. I can click on any section in the chart. Right now, based on whatever status I want, I can click inside, drill down into this chart that I've created based on review date based on subject, whatever it is that I want, and I can look at it even in more detail. And that's just the before appointment stuff. So what if I turned around and I wanted to go and see what happened afterward, right? Did our customer satisfaction change? Do we have accounts that are no longer platinum? Where do things sit? So this is both for the user and it's for the manager. And that's it. Thank you for joining me. And as always, if you would like to attend a complimentary Learning Labs program uh, for our CRM online trial participants, email us at learninglabs at 0 to 10 crmcom And if you are interested in project-based consulting, email us at info at 0 to 10 crmcom My name is Patrick Lewis. Have a great day.